What's going on? What is going on? How we doing? Just leaving. Middle sound open mic. I got there too late. But it's all good though. <clears throat> it was good to fellowship with a few of the comedians. Build on some jokes, politics, etc. Even if you ain't on stage, there's still opportunities to learn, you know? I made a status earlier, right? And I said that, uh, let me go right. Fine women only gotta be fine in order to get into a relationship. And a couple of the fellas was on some, no, uh uh. There's plenty of fine chicks that don't be in relationships. Blah, 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 blah. Or that don't stay in them or whatever. Now, I never said being fine is all that the person needed in order to maintain a relationship. I just said to get into it. As long as the chick's fine, she clean the boss. And fine entails keeping your body clean, making sure your nails are done and you're shaved and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't gotta go into all the details of what fine is. That's some things are just obvious. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible for you to be fine and dirty at the same time. You know what I mean? So if you fine, obviously you're clean. But yeah, all you gotta do really is if she, if you fine, that's all you need to do. Is somebody will be trying to make you their girlfriend. You know? Period. Now, it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna maintain the relationship. That's a different ball game, but that's not what I'm talking about. And um, a lot of people, uh, not a lot, but just a few people, like every time I make statuses, people always misread my words, man. I find myself always having to explain shit. Because a lot of times people see what they, people just see what they want to see. You know? From people, people always want to debate and argue what's not there. I never said maintain. I said get into a chick could be fine as if a chick is fine and she wants a boyfriend, she don't even gotta say a word. Really. Dude could just, you know, be saying every now and again. Take her out a couple times and be like, yo, you my girl, whatever. And then that's it. She don't she don't gotta do no work and no effort to get into the relationship. That's cool. And I'm not hating. I'm just saying that's what it is. Y'all women are beautiful women. Are, I mean, women in general, but especially a beautiful woman. Y'all some powerful creatures. I don't gotta say shit. The only drawback to that is you don't develop necessary social skills when everything is given. Given when everything is given to you for something as basic as just be looking good, keeping yourself clean. And keep yourself groomed. Now, yes, people got natural beauty, but you still got to keep yourself groomed and clean. But that, that, like I said before, that goes along with being fine. But is it really that much to keep yourself groomed and clean? And that's all you got to do. You got to take a shower, get a fucking haircut, and clip your fingernails and be naturally beautiful as a woman. And that's all you need to get a man. All these chicks running around, oh, I can't find no man. Okay, you full of shit. You're crazy as hell. You can't find no man because you probably too damn picky. Or you're not as fine as you think you are. You talk too fucking much. A fine woman don't gotta talk a lot in order to be had. Number one, I'm. Yo, most of us don't even, we don't want our women talking like that, man. As men, we just want you to talk when it's really necessary. And that's it. Lead a, lead, a, lead a conversation to us. We'll direct that. You just be the comforters. We bring the logic and the provision. Y'all bring the comfort. You're a beautiful woman, man. You're very fortunate. 
You got the pick of the litter. You get all the attention. Yo, the world is fucking yours, man. But you still got to develop them social skills. You ain't going to be fine forever. That's a fact. But, so you know, your looks start to fade. You're not as fine as you once used to be. You get a little more desperate. But, social media done changed the game on that, though. Social media done gave y'all women like 30 more years to stunt. If women, at one point, like once they turn around 40, 45 years old, start being more open-minded with men and start having a good time because they're not, they're, they just not getting as much of attention as they used to. But social media done changed that because what it did is it made y'all so much more accessible for so more people, so much more people. And the thirst buckets use social media as a means to talk to way more people and to try to get at more people that's more vulnerable or who they perceive as being vulnerable. And these quote unquote vulnerable older women is getting like a way like a bigger uh, they're, they're, they're getting like a, like a much larger reception of attention from a whole bunch of individuals after 45 years old. So all this attention like from these thirsty ass internet niggas got these bitches heads in the fucking clouds and shit. So what did I do? I gave them 30 more years to act like that. Because these bitches that be stuck online and shit, they don't, gotta, they don't even gotta see you in real life. This bitch like 65 but she's showing pictures of when she was 45, 30. And she'll never see you. Just talking freaky, being nasty and shit. That's it. But never, she never has to show herself to you. You feel me? So now her, her ego's up, her head's in the fucking clouds. So you got this old ass bitch, fucking 60 years old. And I've seen these type of bitches. You got this old ass bitch, like 60 something years old, walking around the club with the tight dress on, with the saggy butt and shit, the varicose veins, crow's feet, gray hair and shit, still acting conceited because she done got an ego boost from thousands of niggas that's online, gassing her head. So, if you a nigga in the club and you ain't, you know, you've been kind of striking out all night. Towards the end of the night, you want to you want to try to go for the short thing. So you look you looking for the older chick. Now probably you you think she's not getting no attention and she needs something. So you go to try to holler at the one that is perceived to be easy to easier to bag. Think she ain't got no attention, but unbeknownst to you, this bitch getting like a hundred messages a day from all kinds of thirsty niggas. So her, her, her ego's all off the chain. So you ain't uh uh. Social media destroyed low-hanging fruit. That shit don't exist. Pretty soon, crackheads gonna be acting conceited. Once crackheads figure out how to get crack from motherfuckers online, they gonna start acting conceited. Cause it's all about attention, y'all. Attention is what dictates a person's temperament and conceit. Attention. more attention of individual gets regardless of how they look if they don't know how to um, deal with that attention the more arrogant they act that's not simple that's why and I'm, and I'm about to really start like following this shit man fuck this shit cause I I fall into this bullshit I be giving some of these unworthy ass bitches all this fucking attention being nice and shit and just sweating on they dick and if you if you saw them you be like yo mo, why the fuck is you sweating these bitches up Cause I had this idea that oh shit, I'm about to get my freak on or whatever, whatever. But these lowly ass, whack ass bitches is getting mad attention from all kinds of dicks online and shit. And just thirsty motherfuckers in general, they has this in the cloud. These bitches is clearly threes and fours, but in their minds, they 11s and 15s and shit. 
And I blame us. I blame men. I blame thirsty niggas just like myself. Gassing up lowly ass, raggedy, old, fat bitches. I take full blame for that shit. I'm going to stop doing that shit, too. Because I'm better than that. I've gotten better, y'all. I know I'm better than that shit, man. He ain't gonna get better until you start thinking better for yourself. You feel me? But back to the original topic of your hand. All chicks now, they need to do, if you want a boyfriend, man, be in a relationship, all you gotta do is look good. Now, uglier chicks, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But, like I said, social media has raised the value on vagina in general. Everybody acting conceited now. So, even if you're a fat, ugly bitch, you'll get a man. Because it's a fucking drought. It's a drought. It's a punani drought. Everybody getting all the attention for thousands of niggas a month. They watching videos and seeing Beyonce get rings and shit. Seeing Cardi B get rings. Not all these bitches think they Cardi B or Beyonce, they deserve everything. Just from what they watch on TV and just from getting mad attention from bitches, bitch ass niggas. It's about the value of pussy is going up, man. It should not, but it has. He has to smooth Don Juan motherfuckers that crack the code. And they've been, they been dealing with they same, st like, you know, stable of bitches for 20 years. That's like niggas, that's like people. White people that got old money. I'm not talking about niggas that got old money hoes. Hoes from 20 years, you know? They got like a nice little network. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the casual dater or whatever. Trying to do his thing. All I know is like 10, 15 years ago, it was a lot easier to meet chicks and bag them than now. Social media made people way more anti-social by far. Buy a fucking phone. You meet a bitch online and shit. You trying to get up with her, you know, trying to do whatever. Oh, I don't even know you. I'm like, bitch. You get to know people by fucking actually spending time with them. A. And B. You gave me a Facebook. Your Facebook has your name, your, your full government, sometimes your phone number, sometimes where you live, where you was born, what high school you went to, what middle school you went to, who are your closest friends are. What you ate this morning, where you went last Friday, where you're going two weeks from now, your hopes, dreams, goals, and aspirations, everything is on your fucking social media. What the fuck do you mean I don't know? You done told me everything <laughs> via profile. In that respect, bitches is bullish. Bitches is bullish, uh, full of shit. A lot of them are control freaks, man. Fellas, we gotta stop giving these whack ass bitches so much fucking attention, man. If the bitches whack, don't give a shit. Don't do nothing. Cause she humble herself and bring herself down to earth. Don't give that bitch shit. Don't give her no attention, no energy, no car. If she a whack ass bitch, like, if she fine, if she a bad bitch, she keeps, she take care of her body, take care of herself, look good. Even if she a lousy motherfucker that don't work, but she work hard on herself. You know what I'm saying? The fact that she works harder on, on, on herself, she kind of like earned that attention from uh, motherfuckers because she put hard work into what she is. But you got just regular run the, run in the mill, ugly ass bitches and fat ass bitches. Bitches ain't taking care of they self and shit, acting like they fucking dying pieces. Man, fuck them bitches, man. Because giving those kind of motherfucker attention, they, they, be, they become tyrants and the people that don't deserve shit is acting like fucking a astronomically ridiculous. It's fucking sad. That's the worst thing, like when I see like a conceited motherfucker that don't, you don't, you don't take care of yourself, you don't look good, you probably stink. And you act like you a fucking dime. And the only reason why they act like that is because they have enough thirsty motherfuckers to boost their ego like that. Niggas are so thirsty for pussy. And, and that's the thing. They assume they see like an ugly chick or a fat chick or whatever, or older chick, and they, they assume it's, it's easy prey. So they kowtow to them and shit like that. No, you treat the easy prey like bullshit. You gotta keep the motherfuckers at that level. It's an ecosystem, man. You, you fuck up the ecosystem. 
when bitches that's supposed to have low, low self-esteem start having high, high, high self-esteem, it fucks up the whole day ecosystem, man. It's just like in nature. If you take away a certain animal, you know what I mean, from a certain environment, it fucks up everything. We need the lowly, we need the lowly ones to feel low, the middle ones to feel middle, the ones that's on top to feel like they're on top. Now, a lowly one, like if you if you're a fat chick or whatever or ugly, you get yourself in shape, get yourself on point, then you move, you move to an upper category, to an upper echelon. But you gotta earn that shit, you know what I mean? Not just because motherfuckers wanna fuck you. But that's our problem, man. And I say us, cause I'm I'm shit, I'm living proof. I do this dumb ass shit all the time, man. Be sweating whack ass bitches that shouldn't be sweat. I do this shit all the fucking time. I'm getting tired of that shit though. Too old for this shit. Like Danny Glover, leave the weapon. Get too old for this shit. Fellas, we gotta stop doing that shit, man. Sweating a bitch just because she got a fat ass. Or sweating a bitch just because you heard she was a freak. Or sweating a bitch just because, you know, she might give you hair. I ain't sweating. No, don't sweat shit. That's like mid time. Men go their own way. If a lot of us stop sweating these fucking and overrating these bitches and shit, we could change. We could change the power. We could change the structure of this whole dating shit, man. And women will start going out of their way to actually use something more than just the fact that mad niggas want like them as a means of communicating and shit and trying to trying to trying to come together or whatever. Man, this traffic is whack. I'm getting off this highway. I'm leaving this video up too. I ain't taking this shit down. Y'all can get mad. You can get mad if you want to. Say whatever you want. But you still gonna give it up. She do's it my way. Getting money the fly way. Satisfy what you need. You know how you don't know the lyrics you be mumbling? She keeps coming back to me. I'll do it my way. Gotta do it my way. What I say goes, I'm in control. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right man. So, I'm about to make a pack march for myself right now. If I, don't, if I don't think a chick is a dime, I'm not sweating. No more conceited, ugly, obese chick ever in my life. I'm not saying I won't fuck her. You know what I mean? I got a little freakiness. I don't fuck almost anything. But I'm not I'm not being nice to these motherfucking motherfuckers that don't deserve to be nice to. I'm, I'm done with this shit, y'all. Come on, some trill shit. I'm fucking done with that shit. That shit is that shit is embarrassing. Especially when you know when you know you done did way better in the past, many many times, you know. And maybe because I'm getting a little older, I'm getting a little fatter, but I'm not desperate though. I don't know. If I was really really desperate, I'd just buy some pussy, and I'm not gonna do that shit. That shit ain't happening. I'm sorry. If I was if, if I was that fucked up in the game, I'd just go ahead and go 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 to go. To, Go to one of these little strippies in, 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 in one of these little cities, Bridgeport or some shit. And then smash me a bad ass Dominican from a fresh off the boat. For under a hundred dollars. The best the best uh, hundred dollars I spent in three minutes. <laughs> under a hundred. You know what I'm saying? The best minute, the best money I spent for three minutes of fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. The highway was off the chain. I had to get the fuck off the highway, man. But yeah, man. All a woman gotta do nowadays to be in a relationship, she just gotta be fine. But not even really. She just gotta have a fucking pulse. Cause dudes is fucking thirsty, yo. I see some, yo. I see in like some of these groups, like, you know, some of these chicks, like some of these groups, they'll have like 20, 30,000 people. Some of these chicks like fat, disgusting, trying to trying to be sexy, wearing this like tight ass shit with a body just like spilling out of it, like looking disgusting. And that shit will be having like, it, it be having like, yo, oh my God, like thousands of likes, yo. 2000, like this bitch never worked out, worked out in a day of her life and she's disgusting and looking ratchet and all kinds of body parts just just 
spilling out of her clothes like a fucking glass over full of over full of water, and she getting all these legs. But then you have certain dudes that, that work out keeping their body. And that's another thing. That's another thing. I women are stingy as fuck with the compliments too, yo. Mad stingy. Like just because you cop give a guy credit and say he look good or whatever, doesn't mean he gonna fuck you. Jesus Christ. I can't women get like some, I mean, some women do. You know, women, they'll get compliments, but you got to be like a fucking goddamn supermodel, a known supermodel. I've seen dudes that's chiseled and in shape, and they ain't get no type of love. No no type of fucking love, though. Three, four, five likes. This nigga working, working out like a, like, you know, body built like a Greek god and shit like that. He can't barely get no likes. Yo, fat ass. You know what I mean? You ain't you. Know, last time you worked out was in gym class twenty five years ago, and you getting a, a, a motherfucking thousand likes just because you got your boot, your butt tooted out in the air and shit. That shit crazy to me, man. Money the flyway, the highway, satisfied you want to need. She coming back to me, oh no, we my way, my way. What I see goes, I'm in control. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. That shit is bug, 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 bug the fuck out. Bug, 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 bug the fuck out. But, it is what it is, yo. That's how y'all get down, man. It's only gonna change when we change it, yo. And that's real talk. We, got, we gotta stop gassing up people. We gotta stop giving credit to those that don't deserve it, man. Putting their heads in the fucking clouds, man. That shit is silly, man. But it's what we do. It's what we do, and it's 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 one of those things. It's not gonna change, man. It really isn't. I mean, it, it changes. It changes with the the, the the individual. It starts with you. I know I'm, I'm not sweating no fucking, and I pretty much, I pretty much, I'm on, that's what I'm on in general, like, anyway, like, for the most part, I, I don't gas up, but it's a, it's a couple that's getting gassed that shouldn't be gassed, it's a couple, man, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to address that, I'm going to work on that, I'm going to improve on that, man. It, it just it ain't nothing worse than like a, a conceited and not even just women just like a conceited ugly person that just think they the shit and then you look at them like what the fuck like I know I am, I'm not I ain't shit I don't act like I'm shit you know what I'm saying I don't try to I don't try to act like I'm greater than, than, than anything My, you know I have a strong voice I have a strong opinion and I'm good at um articulating this cop was a this was a fucking cop. He probably was running my plate. The nigga followed me for a long ass time. Saw it wasn't shit and just fucking abruptly hopped into the left lane. Fucking bitch. What a fucking bitch. No, damn well he was supposed to be in that left lane the whole time. He gonna be just be behind me. Got nothing better to do. This motherfucker's out here really dying and shit. You telling me I'm rolling dolo by myself in my car. It because my windows are slightly tinted. Who knows? Who knows? I know one thing. I need a freaking shower. Had another good night at work. One job went down. Hopped on the next one. Money continues, playboy. That's how it goes down. I know I said a lot of crazy shit in this video. And I'm going to leave it up. I ain't scared of it. Anybody got an opinion, they can... Uh, we can converse about it. I'm not gonna change the way I feel. I ain't gonna change my stance. It is what it is. Yes, I curse, I use foul language, but it causes for a much more entertaining product. And that's just what it's gonna be.
Yo, on the low, I stopped talking a lot because it was a cop that was right behind me. I just told you about him a minute ago. And um, I got my live on, but I don't know how bright it is. I don't know if they can fucking see it. I wonder if it's illegal to Facebook live and drive. Is it illegal to Facebook live and drive? Who knows? Yeah, but fella, stop gassing up these chicks. And yo, you fat ass, conceited ass women, man. Y'all need to fucking bring your, bring your ass down to earth. And you should be down to earth anyway because the gravitational pull is a lot stronger on you because you're fucking fat as fuck. Bring your ass down to earth. You ain't shit. Call that shit up every time, man. Fuck out of here, yo. Back ass bitches. I'm out. Hashtag everybody need more green. Peace.